Scene 1, Town Square. Cat, bad guy, person trying to ban a book. Lori, good guy, person trying to convince Cat not to ban books. Anna, judge, wants to know the whole story. Alice, cameraman. Harry Potter shall be banned forever. No, don't ban that book. Some people love it. I don't care what you say. I'm going to ban it anyway. Also, just so you know, you can't stop me. Please, you have to listen to me. You can't take it away. It's about witchcraft, the worst thing in the world. Also, before I ban it, I'll burn all of my copies. Just because you don't like Harry Potter doesn't mean everybody doesn't like it. Well, who cares? I don't like it, and I think it should be banned. No! Scene 2, courtroom. Well, if we can't agree, then we will have to ask the judge. Fine. What's all the arguing about? Please, let me explain. You must explain immediately. Yes, ma'am. So I was just walking down the street. Well, reading Harry Potter at the same time. And then a mean bad guy came up on me and snatched the book out of my hands and said Harry Potter shall be banned. Very well, but you shouldn't have been reading while walking. Now, Cat, what do you have to say? I read this book and I found it very offensive. It has witchcraft in it. Don't you know that's the worst thing that you could write about? That's why I snatched it from her. Well, just because you don't like Harry Potter doesn't mean you have the right to ban it. Different people have different expectations. Some people like it, some people don't. That's what I said, but she didn't listen. I'm sorry, I know now that just because a book doesn't follow my expectations doesn't mean I have the right to ban it. If I don't like it, I don't have to read it. Okay, Laura is right, but Kat, thank you for explaining how you felt and understanding that you don't have to ban a book for everyone. If you don't like it, you don't have to read it. Everyone is different. Okay, can we leave now? I'm hungry. No! I want you guys to take hands and agree that you should ban Harry Potter. Ow! 